Hello viewers, Ford DIYers here with another video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be reviewing this wireless backup camera by FenSens. A link to this camera will be included in the video description. Starting out, this is a direct bolt-on setup. Absolutely no wiring is needed. Installing this is literally like bolting on your license plate. This is a wireless camera which works over a Wi-Fi signal and you'll see that in a moment. You will need an Android or ISO device. I have an iPhone for this demonstration, which you'll see in a moment. As you can see, it comes in a well-presented package with the specs printed on the outside. This can be mounted on the front or rear of a vehicle. Great for getting into those tight parking spots if you have movement issues or if your vehicle has bad blind spots. It can even be used to get the license plate numbers of tailgaters. Included with the license plate frame camera is a wireless activation button that can also be used which prompts the app on your phone. This can be mounted anywhere in your vehicle with the double faced adhesive on the rear. This uses the same battery model as what's typically found in keyless remotes. Supplied with the camera is the hardware along with an additional micro USB cable for charging the camera. While this does have a charging port on the bottom for an initial startup, there is a solar panel integrated into the frame so that means it doesn't need to be charged and there is no wiring for a power source. As per the recommendation, the camera should be charged for two to three hours before the initial installation. It has an IP65 rating, which means it's completely protected from dust and protected from low pressure water ingress from any direction. It is also designed to work in temperatures as low as minus 10 degrees Celsius or 14 degrees Fahrenheit to as high as 50 degrees Celsius or 122 degrees Fahrenheit. The camera has a high definition rated at 1080p and can be used with both Android and ISO devices. Alerts can be activated on your device as well to enhance the usability. Underneath the camera is a small button. This turns the camera on or off. Press and hold the button. This will be followed by a blue LED light which blinks twice to indicate the camera is on. Press and hold again for a few seconds, release, and a red LED will blink, indicating the camera is off. It's designed to fit around standard North American license plates. The construction of the frame is very rigid and it doesn't affect the visibility of your license plate. This is especially important when your license plate does have a date sticker. For installation, it's very straightforward. Remove a license plate using the correct tools. Pre-installed on the frame is stainless steel brackets. Also supplied is the additional brackets for adjustments, if needed, depending on your vehicle's design. Additional fasteners are supplied, again being stainless steel, so you don't have to worry about anything rusting. If you've seen my head unit install with a backup camera, that'll give you a good idea what's involved installing a wired camera. It's certainly much more work intensive than compared to this. You may need additional brackets to lift up the license plate frame if there is clearance issues. This is outlined in their PDF manual which is located on the product's website. Install the license plate behind the frame and install the fasteners. Fasteners are also included that are longer if yours are too short. Tighten the fasteners and you're ready to go. The camera is fixed so there's no adjustments. With the wide angle, you'll have a large viewing window. On the supplied informational sheet, Scan the code with your device. This will bring up a link to their website. Going over to their website, select the App Store, download the app, which I have already done, open it up, select the camera at the bottom if required. Make sure the camera is on by clicking that button on the frame. I have already set up the camera and the wireless signal prompts it on my phone to connect. While this is on the rear of the truck, here you can see a quick tour driving up the road. The frame rate keeps up with no problems over the Wi-Fi signal. There isn't any delays with the footage. The camera can be viewed in both portrait and landscape mode. You'll see the landscape mode in a moment. You're able to see the edges of the bumper cut out for the hitch and license plate area, so this gives you an idea how wide the view is. If I did have a hitch ball installed, you'd have no problem seeing that for lining up a trailer. Compared to the Tacoma, I have a short wheelbase Dodge Ram Seeing where I'm backing up to a trailer can be pretty hard, especially with smaller trailers. Overall, I have to say it's a great option for anyone seeking a feature such as this. It can be set up in under 10 minutes. Minimal tools and skills are required for the install. Most people already have a smartphone or device, so no additional screens are needed in your interior, and it can be transferred from one vehicle to another. The only additional thing I would add is tamper-proof fasteners. While it does have a subtle design that blends in with any vehicle, the tamper-proof fasteners are just an extra deterrent. 
Have you purchased this product? Please be sure to share your experiences in the comments below to help out fellow viewers. New videos are released every week on my channel. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and thank you for watching.